Archiving items inside of monday.com is going to save you space and reduce the clutter on your boards. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to archive and auto archive items in the system. So as you can see here, I am in an example monday.com system and I have a to do list, Nick's to do list. Now, firstly, I'm going to show you how to archive an item. This is really, really simple. All you need to do is select an item and then go to the archive option down the bottom here. So all you need to do is select an item or multiple items if you'd like to, select archive and that's it, disappeared. Now, you may be wondering, how do I then recover an archived item? It's really easy. All you need to do is go to your initials in the top right hand corner here and go to the archive options just below trash. Go to this option here and you can see the item that you have just archived. So it's this one here, example task number two. If I go to the three dotted button on the far right hand side, you can go ahead and select the view or restore. So view is going to show you what that item is and restore is it's going to take it back to that board that you were just on. There you go. As you can see, it's been repopulated back onto your to-do list or whatever you are using this board for. So that's how to archive in Monday. Sounds really simple. In this video, I also want to show you how to auto archive. So in this example, what I want to happen is when a status or when a task is equal to done, 30 days after the task was completed, I want to auto archive. Okay. So there are two things that we need to do. First and foremost, we need to have a date column that signifies when the item has been done. So in order to do so, go to the plus button on the far right hand side and we'll create a date column. And I'm just going to call this completed date. I'm then going to hide the, um, hide the column summary. And then what I'm also going to do is just restrict edit so no one can change the uh, done date. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is go to automate in the top right hand corner, I'm gonna go to board automations, which is the middle option and go to add automation. And what I want to tell monday.com is when status changes to done, then set date to today. So we're telling the system that when the item has been marked as completed, when the task has been marked as completed, then set that date to today. So if we go ahead and do this, when this happens, when status and then select our status column, changes to and then we have got done, then we want to go ahead and select our uh, our action, which is set date and um, just go ahead and search that option there and set date, which is completed date. Make sure you select the right date column to today and go ahead and press create automation. And there we have it. When status change is done, say completed date to today. If I change this status to done, it's going to move the item to group done and it will set the completion date to today as well. Um, the automation to move the item has not be, has been deleted. But as you can see here, we've got example task number two, status is done, completion date is today. Now, what I want to do is I want to tell monday.com that in 30 days time, I would like to archive this task because if we've got multiple tasks to do every day, this list could become enormously long. So I want to auto archive. So to do that, all we need to do is go to the automate button again in the top right hand corner, go to board automations, select add automation. And then what we want to do is say when date arrives. So this is usually the second option on the most used, but if you can't find it, just search date arrives. And what we want to do is set the automation that says when one, or you could do 30 days after date arrives at whatever time you like, let's say 7 a.m. So 30 days after date arrives at 7 a.m. And then just select the date column that is applicable. In this case, it is the completed date date column. Then what we want to do is auto archive. So go to the action and then we just want to search for archive and just go ahead and select archive item. And there we have it. Just press create automation. And now 30 days after completed date arrives, it's going to automatically archive that item from our list and then it will be stored in the archive area inside of monday.com. Now, there are a couple of points to note here about archiving items. One, they will be removed from any reporting functionality. So if you are generating reports on not necessarily a to do list, but maybe a lead list or anything else or a project list, you will no longer be able to report on that information because it is not present inside of your board. So it may skew your data. Secondly, and this is really important to factor in as well, archiving or the archiving functionality inside of monday.com is very difficult to manage if there are lots and lots of items in there. It's very hard to find things. It can become a bit of a pain. So 
if you are if there so if there is a likelihood that you will need to recover the archived information um, then i strongly suggest you find alternative means of storing this information you could just collapse the group for example or maybe simplify things another way but the archiving feature is great but if you need to recover things i would probably suggest looking at alternative avenues so that's the archiving functionality inside of monday.com how to archive unarchive and auto archive hopefully this video has been helpful if you do need any help setting up monday.com for your business we'd be delighted to help check out the link below thank you very much for watching and i'll see you soon goodbye